There can only be one winner, and you're looking at it. Let's go. Kaboom. YouTube, new card, Rainbow Over Dragon. Now, there's been a ton of theory crafting on the best way to summon this. People were talking about Dragon's Mirror, which is used with Chaz. People were talking about Future Fusion. But it just turns out that the best way to summon this card is exactly how everyone was building their Rainbow Dragon deck uh, six months or a year ago. So basically, you build your deck exactly like that. And that just is the best way to do it. But now you have Rainbow Over Dragon, which really pushes the OTKs. What does this card do? Before we would summon Rainbow Dragon, and you know, it wouldn't be lethal because they'd have a monster in the field. But now it's lethal with Rainbow Over Dragon. So to summon this, you send a Rainbow Dragon to the graveyard. And then with this on the field, you could banish a Crystal Beast in the grave. You want to banish your Pegasus. And when you banish Pegasus, your Rainbow Over Dragon goes up to 5,800 attack. So if they have something that's 1,800 attack or lower with 4,000 life, that's an OTK. Also, because we're playing three Pegasus, if you banish a Pegasus with your Over Dragon, you could still summon more Rainbow Over Dragons in uh, later in other turns. So if this fails, that's okay. To also search Rainbow Dragon, we are playing Melody of Awakening Dragon. Discard a card, add up to two Rainbow Dragons from your deck to your hand. And the rest of the deck self-explanatory. You have to have seven Crystal Beasts with different names on the field and or grave to summon Rainbow Dragon. And we have Rare Value for Pog of Greed with two Crystal Beasts on the field. Send one to the grave, draw two. We have Transcending Crystals, which makes this super consistent. Discard up to one to three cards from your hands to the graveyard. Then choose the same number of Crystal Beast monsters from your deck, equal to the number you sent from your hands to the grave. Put them onto the field, and then that helps you summon your Rainbow Dragon. Now, he has this other effect. He, she. Quick effect. You could tribute this fusion card to shuffle all cards on the field into the deck. You can't use this effect. You can't do it. It's fake news. Why? because we don't fusion summon, we special summon. Because it's not fusion summoned, you can't use its effect. You can only use the banish from graveyard effect to gain attack, that's it. Then we have Regekis to destroy back row. Basically the premise of this deck is you want to summon Rainbow Dragon by your second turn. On your first turn, you hopefully want to set up Crystal Regekis. And then on your second turn, you hit them with the Rainbow Dragon. So Crystal Regeki will help you survive a turn one after you pass to them, while also helping you pop back row or pop their monsters if needed. Then you hit them with the Rainbow Dragon. If this deck could consistently summon Rainbow Dragon in one turn, then I would take these out for like Hatronades or Storms. But because we you cannot consistently summon this in one turn, we try to do it in two turns. So Crystal Regeki gets us to that second turn. This card's good. Search a Crystal Beast and play a Crystal Beast into your spell and trap back row. Let's get into the replays. Ooh, Bond. We have the Melody, add two Rainbow Dragons. Thin out that deck, thin it out. We really wanna go for the one-two punch. Now we're playing against a control deck, so we don't have to worry about getting OTK'd. Next turn, I think we're set. I think we're set for a double Rainbow Dragon. I don't even ask. I, I don't I don't know. I don't know why he's doing this, but he's doing it. Okay. Maybe he misclicked or he's I don't know. Armades. Take out. Trans crystals. Rain, bow, dragon. What's better than one rainbow dragon? Two rainbow dragons. Survive the back row, whatever it is. Number two coming up. And we get to use both our effects. Love it. Pegasus, tiger. 
3,500, 5,600 to the face. Bam! Mind scan, we have nothing really scannable. I guess the seeing Regeki is kind of good. Once again, discard the Rainbow Dragon. Don't be so focused on having it in your hand. Try to actually win the duel, all right? See that? We care about winning the duel. Drool, drool! Ay! Ay! Double Rainbow Dragon coming next turn. Unfortunately, we drew all those cards and we did not draw Regeki. We just have to hope he doesn't OTK us. That's it. That's it. That's it. Crystals. Not one, but two. Fusion. Fusion. Banish. Banish. Fool. 4,300 to the face. Now, I felt a delay. I was like, oh, he's playing Spear Karibo. No, it was just the Shield Warrior in the graveyard. He could banish it to protect his monster from being destroyed by battle. Boom. Bog of Greed. Now, I discard Rainbow Dragon usually because we're thinking about living a turn. We're going to think about drawing into Rainbow Dragon later. So I did discard a Rainbow Dragon right there. And you'll see that multiple times. There we go, we drew into it. Double Pog of Greed. Double Rare Value. Beautiful. And it's a Kokai Miru deck. Kokai Miru. I think he just gets everything. He gets everything on us. Urn Knight, we have Crystal Regeki to survive. Thank God this is not a Storm or a Hate Trunade. You have to have a good, you know, you have to survive. You have to. Yes, that's right. He forgot to banish Diamond like a fool. Fool! 3k to the face. Hopefully we draw another Rainbow Dragon. Nope, we have to do this off of one. We got one. Oh, we might draw another. Banish! 5,800 Sakuretsu armor! What the hell? I felt no delay. I thought it was a wall of D. I was like, that's a D. That's a wall of D. God damn. Regeki. Jesus. Because we banished Pegasus. You see how we only, don't only play just seven Crystal Beasts? Because if you banish, you lose. No, we have follow-up power in this deck. Top deck, Melody. We already discarded a Rainbow Dragon turn one, so it's our last Rainbow Dragon. Let's do it. Get her done. Third Rainbow Dragon. Now, even with Wall D, it's still lethal, so I summon the Pegasus. Oof! 5,800! Ooh, heroes. Hero, hero, remember Celestial pops your back row, your face up Crystal Beast. Once again, we discard Rainbow Dragon because we focus on the one-two punch. Draw! Hoping to draw rare value. That's how I set this up. That's why I keep a Pegasus, because if you draw two with rare value and you draw into another one, you summon Pegasus to then use your second rare value. Unfortunately, we didn't draw into it. Nadia, okay, just to swing in. I guess he doesn't have a mass change. If he did, we have a Crystal Regeki for it anyway. Still, what's going on? Where? I'm, I'm just thinning out the deck. We need to draw into Rainbow Dragon or Melody. Come on! This is great. He is 1600 defense. He walls off all the Destiny heroes. Zing, now this is big brain. You, this is very subtle. He zings and zoos our Crystal Regeki. This is your last, you think, you think it's your last opportunity to activate your Regeki or your card gets locked forever. I was going, nah, I'm not chaining my Regeki. I'm going to risk it being locked forever because I think that he thinks he's smart. So he's going to try to lock his own face down mass change, wait for my response. Then he's going to chain his mass change. So if I were to chain Regeki to the Zin Zen Zoo, like 90% of you would do, then you'd lose. We wait. We wait. Perfect. Perfect. Fool. I don't think so. 
It's so subtle, but it changes everything. Floodgate tra <laughs> flips down a rainbow dragon. We still tribute it for Rainbow Overlord. You still tribute it. Flipped it down, tribute. Fool! 5,800, we don't care. Oh my Jesus, we have 100 attack. What? Pegasus to the field. We took the D, we still win. Duel. Send our Crystal Beast, play the Crystal Beast onto the field. Rare value, Pog of Greed. Pegasus. Play a Crystal Beast from the deck, hand, or grave onto the field. Kokai Miru. Boulder adds our knight. Regeki. This is what I'm talking about. Surviving on their second turn. You have to you can't do this in one turn. You have to live for a turn, and Regeki helps you live. Live! Maximus, not looking good for us. For some reason, pops our back row. Whatever. Okay. Okay. Tiger to the field. Oof. Immediately, you want to tribute it for your Rainbow Over Dragon. We banish the other dude. 5,700 attack. Now, unfortunately, you do want to banish a Pegasus for follow-up Rainbow Dragons. We did not have a, a Pegasus in the graveyard, so this had to do. We had to do this. Grit! I didn't know he had grit. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> we banished, so I probably wouldn't have banished if I knew he was playing grit. Just saying. Ice! Oh, God! Now if we draw a Rainbow Dragon, we can't use it. Back and forth. Oh, we can't summon it. We banished our seventh Crystal Beast. What have we done? Regeki, keep us in. Yes! Top deck Pegasus, you fool! Finish him! All right, see, I still show you a slight misplay. Oi. Oi. Draw two, Poggers of Greed. Always hope you're gonna draw into another rare value. Always hope, choose hope. We have a great follow-up for next turn. We just need to draw into our Rainbow Dragons, and it's lovely that he wasted a Kanadia. Love it. Drill me. I'm holding, man. I'm holding. I'm holding. You can't force me to use it. Now I'll use it. Now I'll use it. I'm going all out. Summon for the seventh. Hit that drowning. Drowning, unfortunately, was not a good hit. Oof! <laughs> Sometimes they just have nothing. They just have nothing. It's just an easy win. Rainbow Dragon could not do this before. It would be a big commitment to summon Rainbow Dragon without an OTK, so Rainbow Over Dragon enables the OTKs. Ooh, interesting hand. Bond, add, put in the back row. Melody, discard, add two. One, a Tua. Pegasus. Come to the field. So I don't think we didn't use Transcendent Crystals here. We'll use it next turn. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What is this? Oh my Jesus. Ancient Gear Ultimate Golem. 4,400 attack. Oof. 2,600 to the face. We have to summon Rainbow Dragon. Draw. Perfect. Heart of the cards. Guide me. Pegasus to the field. Rare value. Draw. Bam. Again. All powerful rainbow dragon. You notice how he's not surrendering yet? Because he don't know. He don't know. That's the biggest fear when I make replays. I have to rush the end because I'm so afraid of them surrendering before the duel ends. Banish! Banish! Oof! 57! Get out of here! Fool! Thunder Dragon 
Is this that stall deck? That top secret, top community, super secret stall deck? What the hell is this? I, I don't even know what I'm getting into here. I def I don't play that. Crystals, guide me. What? <laughs> I don't know what this is, but I'm expecting a an obelisk, so I have I destroy it before the tokens come out. I am not allowing you to summon an obelisk. What? Now, very rarely do you want to do this where you want to fill up your back row at three. But this was a moment where I did it because I, I just do it. Just do it to summon Rainbow Dragon. I have Rainbow Dragon available, but I do not summon it yet. I'm feeling them out. I want to feel out the, re the, the back row, the, the, the delays on attack, on summon. Going for that bread. Going for that bread. We're going for an epic drowning or an epic finale. Yeah! I didn't even want a fusion. Just 4K, 4K. Rainbow Dragon! Guys, I hope you enjoyed the replays. The deck was a lot of fun. It's just built exactly how everyone built Rainbow Dragon back in the day. Unfortunately, keep it simple. That was the way to build the deck. And uh, now it just has OTK potential. Like, subscribe, donate, email chain, turn your notification bell on. <coughs> Thank you.